Villa Francia, also known as Villa Preziosi, is one of a few Baroque country villas that survive till this day. Situated in Han Lia, one of the three villages, together with Hal Balsan and Hattart, Villa Francia has a very interesting history spanning over 250 years. The three villages have very similar characteristics and are very similar in size, age and layout. This, together with their close proximity, gives them the name of the three villages. Attard, Lia and Balzan are famous for the luscious citrus orchards and the production of orange blossom water. In Maltese known as Ilma Zar, a traditional distillation commonly used as a remedy in the old days to treat upset stomachs. A bottle of the Ilmazar could be found in every household. Unfortunately today, one may only find a family or two in Gozo who still produce orange blossom water using the old traditional technique. This involved distillation using a contraption known as Lampik. Attart is famous for its citrus orchards and gardens, having the motto Florigera Roses Harlo, meaning I perfume the air with my blossoms. It is the largest of the three villages, with a population of approximately 10,000 inhabitants. A very well-known landmark in Attard is San Anton Palace and Gardens, which is another magnificent villa surrounded by lush countryside. This palace was built between 1623 and 1636 by Antoine de Paul, Grandmaster of the Order of the Knights of Malta. Balsan became a parish in the 17th century and is approximately 4,000 inhabitants. It is also known for its gardens and citrus orchards, with many traditional townhouses having a back garden with lemon, orange and tangerine trees. The motto of Balzan is in fact Hortibus Undique Septa, meaning surrounded by gardens. Many houses of character can also be found in Lia with private citrus gardens. Lia detached itself from Birkikara in 1594 and became a parish. Without any doubt, amongst various landmarks in Lia is Villa Preziosi, built by the Preziosi family around 1757. In the villa one can still find Maltese architectural sculptures, horse stables and an elaborate system of wells and water reservoirs. These extend beneath the villa to provide water to its extensive estates throughout the year. One can also find around 10 magnificent fountains and a water mill. The Preziosi family were Corsicans who used Malta as a base for their privateering in the Levant. Sarugo Mifsud was a resident in the villa while Prime Minister of Malta between 1924 and 1927. The villa is now the official residence of the Prime Minister of Malta. The locally unreliable rainwater supply makes rainwater storage very important to overcome periods of drought. A water lifting device known as the Sienia was probably introduced to Malta by the Arabs. The Sienia was powered by an animal which turned a horizontal wooden cogged wheel, which turned a vertical wheel with cogs and which then transmitted the rotation to the vertically submerged main wheel into a deep artisan well. This well drew up a number of buckets of water from the horizontal galleries which collected water from a large reservoir. The water raised was then stored in a reservoir and distributed to the fields. A fine specimen of a senia can be found within the outbuildings of Villa Francia. It is not clear where, when or by whom cotton production was introduced to Malta but it was probably the Phoenicians who introduced the cotton production in the Maltese islands. During the Middle Ages, the Maltese used to wear clothes made from locally grown and spun cotton material. 
In the 14th century, Maltese cotton started being exported from Malta to foreign markets. The money from the tax on the exported cotton went to the upkeep of the walls of Undina. However, later on, after the French and British periods, the production of cotton disappeared from the Maltese islands. During this period, cotton prices had gone down considerably and many farmers were left in debt and bankrupt. The three kinds of cotton which were cultivated in Malta were the Gossipium religiosum, known as red cotton, Gossipium hirisutum, or white cotton with a yellow tinge, and Gossipium herbaceum. Mats, scarves, bed and table linen, and a few of the articles which were locally produced from cotton. The price of cotton depended on the type of cotton used. In the beginning of the 19th century, white cotton was sold at 30 scudi per antar, while the red cotton, which was of a finer quality and was more sought after for its color, was sold for 45 to 50 scudi per antar. We welcome you to Villa Francia and encourage you to explore the different exhibits, multimedia displays and enjoy the informal gardens of this fine Maltese country house.